This is the quick catch up of the good movies on the theater and the one you should escape from the theater. This is your review with Frankie D coming up. Three movies that you should go. Right now in the theater, there's still Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 2. Great movie, you have everything you want, you will spend the money, and it's really worth it. Second, it's a good comedy. I would say one of the few good comedies you can see lately, and that's Rough Night. They have everything you want, and all the reviews give you, it's so so. I would say it's a good movie, and you won't miss spending the money. And you will be surprised how it make you laugh. And the third movie is still in the theater, doing great. I think $320 million in the box office in the United States. And um, that's Wonder Woman. The biggest surprise for this Marvel guy is the DC movie, the best DC movie since The Dark Knight. It's a long time since that time, and uh, it had everything you want. It's a surprisingly good movie. It had great reviews too, but people love it, and it's doing great in box office. And I'm glad. I'm glad that sometimes they can make a good movie without be a Marvel movie. Bad movies, movies you have to get away from here. The Mummy, it's Escape. The Mummy, I don't know what Universal tried to do. They spent $130 million to do this movie. They do in box office $68 million. I think they did very well worldwide. But I don't know if they're going to catch up with the money. It's still escape. They had nothing that you're going to like in this movie. Everybody is still thinking in the Mummy on um, Brandon Fraser. And we say, oh, they got old, they got fat. Russell Crowe got old and fat and he's still in this movie and uh, Tom Cruise came here for the money and you can tell in all the commercials that he did, all the interviews, he doesn't talk much about the movie because he knows the movie is not good. So escape from that movie, another movie you had to escape, Transformers, get away from this. This is a, a stupid movie that is special effects, simple formula, you got my reviews in the previous videos, you can watch it and you know what it is. Another movie you have to escape is Pirates of the Caribbean. That's a no-go. It's another formula, the same way with Transformers. It's made the money, uh, it's spent $200 million, most of the special effects, acting, they get big money, but it's just a movie. They're gonna predictable, it's very predictable, and you know you're gonna like it when they're in the movie. But they're gonna make one more. I'm sure they're gonna make one more because they're still gonna make money worldwide. That's all they care for the money. They don't care for the fans. They say they do, but they don't. It's just Tom Cruise did it for the money and so Johnny Depp. It's the same formula, the same for the money. Escape those movies. Now, two movies coming up that it looks very good and uh, I think it's gonna be a big surprise. Baby Driver, uh, it had great actors, it had a lot of chase and it had a good backup story. Uh, you see my review in a couple days, but I think that will be a go. And another one, it looks funny and I hope, this weekend I will give you the review, I hope Will Farrell doesn't mess in this one because lately he haven't had a good hit. Um, this is the house. It looks funny on all the previews, but let's see if all the previews are only the only part funny. Uh, you see catching up with me and your reviews in a few days, I will give you the reviews and they catch up with all the other movies coming up in the next couple of weeks. Thank you for being here. I hope you subscribe. If you see any of these movies I see before, I hope you just check on my reviews and uh, give me the opinion and that little eye over there give me the opinion if you like it or not and uh, don't forget coming up a couple more reviews this week this is your reviews with frankie d thank you for coming and thank you for watching